Hello, welcome back to Film River Forum. And once again, my name is Bernard Ishibante in Atlanta, Georgia. And as I start in all my presentation, if you have been subscribed, I ask you uh, uh, say please uh, subscribe, share with friends and family and relatives and let them know about this particular forum. And uh, let them know that, you know, there's a lot of things I uh, talk about, maybe geopolitical issues, economic, social, cultural issues, and all kinds of issues I talk about, even relationship. And like I said, I'm not an expert in relationship because my area of specialization, as I say, is uh, international relations, where I um, have my PhD, a doctorate, I'm pursuing my doctorate, PhD in, uh, but uh, but even in that field of specialization, I don't know everything. We all learn from each other. Nobody in this world knows everything. Like I said, we all learn from each other and through experiences. And that is how we get to know things. You share experience. Sometimes you hear people talking about their experience. And that's how we all learn. And so today's discussion, again, will be about how you can use a cell phone to tell to indicate if your woman, your girl, is all into you or not. Or if you get love for you, is losing some steam or not. And I'm not saying in all situations it's true, but it can give you a very, very good idea, a very, very strong clue as to how your girl feel about you. Yes, in my next segment after this one, my next one will be about how guys also feel about their woman through your cell phone. So today, uh, it's basically about, it's more about primarily about women, how you can tell a guy, how a man can tell your girl, your, your spouse, your girlfriend, your, you know, your, your, whatever relationship you're in, homosexual, heterosexual, whatever relationship you're in, if you want to tell, if your partner, your your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whether casual, whatever it is, really, really cares about you or really, really into you emotionally, you know, in terms of romantic, your romantic relationship, use a cell phone. Why do I say this? Because cell phone has come to change the world now. Almost everything we do revolve around cell phone, social media or social media in general. So that is where we get to know people in this century. You know, social media, Instagram, Twitter, you know, Hulu, uh, Facebook, um, your cell phone, mobile phone, wherever, that will tell you. So, and one of them is your cell phone because almost everybody, even kids as young as eight, nine years, 11 years old, a lot of them have cell phone now. So now cell phone has become like a lifeline to, you know, to heaven for a lot of people. You can take everything away from people by accepting their cell phone. They're going to hurt you. They're going to hurt you if you mess with their cell phone. Almost everybody. So that is how we communicate socially now. Politically, that's how we communicate. We communicate culturally. We communicate through education, everything now, through social media. And cell phone is an integral part of social media. And so that is why I'm saying, so cell phone, there's a lot of people don't have Facebook, wherever, but their cell phone, they do. So if you want to know, your girlfriend, your husband, I mean your wife, because today it's all about your wife really, really or your girlfriend or your partner, your spouse, whoever really, really cares about you. Take that love, romantic relationship seriously. How she, she feels about you, the cell phone can give you a very, very good indicator. So one day you can call your girl or your wife and say, hey, baby. I'm not saying snatch her cell phone from her. No, nope. real guys don't do it. Don't snatch it. Don't go behind her back. Just ask her, office, you know, out of the blue, say, baby, I just want to know how you have saved my name. How, have you, how, what name have you saved on your contact list about me? What's my, how do you save my name? What is, what name do you have on your contact list as far as I am, as a man, concerned? Well, actually, say, let, let me let me just see. Just you open it up and let me see. Just let me see the name. And that will tell you because if the woman is really, really romantically, seriously, takes that love serious, care about you emotionally, because the reason I'm saying the majority of women connect on emotional level. I'm not saying they're emotional, but 
you know, there's nothing wrong with that because I wish guys are like that. They take love, they take their relationship more serious, I can say, than men. Yes, women, if you take about 10 women out there, I would say about seven of them takes, or six of them takes, you know, their love relationship seriously than men. And if you take 10 uh, men, you probably will get five or wherever or four. So well, that, that is why I'm saying women connect more on emotional level. So if you ask a woman that you want to see the name she has said on her self-contact list in terms of your name as a guy, you know, at the name you will see, that will come up. If she really really into you, you see probably honey, baby, hubby, that means husband, husband, hubby, sweetie, sweetheart, boo, king, poppy, like all kind of, you know, and if you guys have some nickname for each other, it could be that nickname. But if you don't see those things, if you don't see those things, that should give you a pause. I'm not saying in all situation is true, but in majority of the situation, it's true because that's how women feel. If they really, really into you, there's no way they have a cell phone and they will save your name. Like, say, my name is Bernard Eshibante, and you see Mr. Bernard Eshibante. You see, it's not romantic. No woman who is into her man will really do that. I'm not saying it's true in all situations, but I can tell you that that is what I'm talking about. So if you look, if she is, you know, be honest enough to let you see, you that can give you a clue. So brothers, that is what I'm trying to let you know that. I'm just reminding you, maybe you already know, but I'm just drawing your attention to that. If you're, your woman is really, really, really into you, your partner is really, really into you, there's no way she will save your name that other than some romantic, some nice, some kind of, you know, um, affectionate, some kind of, you know, uh, romantic names, some kind of name. That is how sisters do. And then that, if you see any other names, because the reason at one time I teach, like I said, and I hear sometimes, I hear my students, especially, you know, guests, they be talking. And some of them are young, some of them are 19, 20, 35, 30, 40. I've, sometimes I get some students even 50, you know, and uh, they be in class. And sometimes you hear them talking to their friends, you know, about, their relationship and what they're going through, what they, you know, the kind of guy they like, and and I hear it. sometimes be sitting there in classroom. I hear so one time I was just walking past in between two, in between a row, you know, classroom, in between chairs, you know, tables, and I saw a phone, you know, ringing. One of the guests' phone was ringing, and this lady is about forty years old. Her phone was ringing, and I know if the reason I said ask her how she saved your name because if she saved your name whatever name she said and somebody call or you call that name will pop up if you call your girl the name she says will pop up so i saw the name and what i saw i was so surprised i was shocked i saw ungrateful bastard i promise you that i saw it. i saw ungrateful bastard in one of a, a woman cell phone friend and come to find out so a friend, how do I know? A friend, there was a, a guest around, said, girl, who is that? She said, that's my, you don't even want to know, that's my, it turned out that, that that's her husband. And this is a woman who has about two or three kids, yeah, three kids, two boys, one girl, with that guy. But guess what? She saved the name, Ungrateful Bastard. She, that tells you, that should give you an idea. There's no love there. Even though they still live together, they live together, they sleep on the same house together, the same place, and still, you see the name? So that should give you a clue. And no way, a woman will tell you, if a woman is really, 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 or any partner, if anybody, you know, involved in romantic relation with anybody, the way they will treat their partner, if they are really, really in love, you know, intimately, romantically in love, the way they look at, especially sisters, women, the way they will call the guy will give you a clue. 
you know, as to how, if the woman is really, really into the man or not. Because you go out and you see you working with your girlfriend or your wife or whatever, and in front of everybody, call, hey, Bernard, that you want to come over here. Hey, Bernard, that you want like that. They will call you. They will call, hey, sweetie. Hey, baby. Hey, like that. Hey, Mr. So and so, like that. that. But if they don't have any nickname for you, but they call you by your name, real full name, everything in front of everybody, or they save your name some kind of way. I'm not saying it's true, but think about it. And you know it's true. If you know if a woman is into you and you look at her cell phone, you, you can tell. I'm not saying go search and see what, whoever she's talking to or whatever, because one thing, if a person is going to cheat, they will do it anyway. All that I'm saying is just ask them, ask them, ask your girl or your partner. So let me see the name you have you have saved my name, how you have saved my name on your cell phone. And that will give you a clue as to that. That is how it is. So watch for that. And uh, that is what I have for you. And uh, my next one will be about how also guys also do when they are into a woman. Uh, you know, it may, it's different. It's totally different from women. But women situation is very, very it's more romantic, more, you know, I'm not saying guys are not romantic, but women are more romantic, more. I may not have the study, to, but it's, uh, ev almost everybody knows. It's, it's, a, it's an acceptable norm that women are more romantic and they connect more emotionally level than men do. And so the cell phone, since it's very, very important part, important component, important, important tool in this century, it tells a lot. People hold their cell phone dearly. And so that is what I have for you today. And once again, my name is Bernard Esbontin. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And another time, it will be how guys also act, you know, and if they are really in love or they really, really cares about their woman or whatever. I'll talk to you another time.